good morning everyone today we will conduct one more experiment the sixth sixth experiment uh, in our electrical machine one lab that is cot connection for balanced and unbalanced load the main aim of the experiment is to obtain the two single phase supplies from a three phase supply by cot connecting the two transformers and further study the loading on three phase side due to the loading on the two single phase sides and determining its efficiency of the combined set the overall circuit diagram to conduct this experiment is shown here we'll be using two transformers basically the main transformer and a teaser transformer main transformer will be having a tapping of 86.6% and the teaser transformer will be having a 50% tapping here also we will be using two wattmeters to measure the input power and we'll be having a voltmeter and ammeter to measure input voltage and current then of course we'll be using one three phase auto transformer which can be excited by means of a three phase supply and at the right hand side at the uh, secondary side we'll be using two loads single phase loads where exactly we can use an ammeter voltmeter connection to measure the voltage and current drawn by the single phase transformers this is the overall setup what we have to conduct a uh, scott connection uh, t1 will be uh, the our the main transformer and we will be having t3 as a teaser transformer of course we will be using a load here here we will be having a load which can resistive load of 3 hp and 10 amperes this load can be utilized as a single phase load as well as three phase load if we use only these two connections to connect phase and neutral of a load side it can be named as a single phase load and if we short one of the terminals all the all this r y b terminals and if you use only this r y b it can be considered as a three phase load so now for our scott connection we will be using these two terminals for one phase and these two terminals for the second phase and just by adding these switches we can apply the load and the load current can be measured by respective ammeters now let's see how exactly the connection goes first we will be giving supply from mains to a auto transformer again ryb supply will be given to the auto transformer the transformers which we use to conduct this experiment are having a rating of 3 kva and 220 volt now from ryb to the supply is given to the auto transformer you can use a lengthy ryb wires to auto transformer input terminal so we should carefully connect this input terminals and output terminals of auto transformer carefully again from the output terminals ryb connections are taken so now r phase should be given to through ammeter it should be connected to watt meter first terminal of ammeter r phase and then ammeter next terminal should goes to the watt meter m terminal and then mc should be shorted and next l terminal should goes to the main transformer tapping of 86.6% now secondary side we should give s1 s2 side and then from s2 should goes to the teaser transformer 50% side 50% and then then next from y phase 2 should be given to the s1 terminal of a teaser transformer and then the v and v of both the wattmeter should be shorted and one terminal should be given to again s1 of the teaser transformer so here v v of the wattmeter are shorted again one more wire is going to s1 terminal of a teaser transformer and next 
from B phase of a auto transformer. B phase of the auto transformer, auto transformer should be given to M terminal of the wattmeter 2. Again, MC should be shorted. Again, L terminal should goes to L of the wattmeter 2 should goes to S2 of the TZ transformer. And here S1 terminal of a main transformer should be open. So we should note of it. Now let's see how exactly the loads are connected to the primaries of the a main and teaser transformers. So P1, P2 from P1 to a meter, a meter to load, again load back to P2 of the main transformer. Again similarly from P1 to load, again load back to a meter, a meter to P2 of the teaser transformer, we will see. So again we will be using um, ammeters to measure the current drawn by each loads and voltmeter we can connect across the load or we can connect across P1, P2 also. Now for our case of use we will connect this voltmeter both the voltmeters across P1, P2 of the main transformer again the one more voltmeter across P1, P2 of the TZ transformer. Now from P1 of the main transformer should goes to the ammeter 1, I1, this is the I1 and then another terminal from ammeter should come back to the load size and as I told you any two terminals can be used as a single phase load. Another terminal from the load, another terminal from the load should goes back to the P2. Now we can connect the voltmeters we can connect it later anyhow it is a parallel connection. Now next the second load is connected from P1 terminal of a teaser transformer to a meter which measures the current I2 and then another terminal from a meter should come back to the second terminals we use is as a load and another terminal of the load should goes back to the P2 terminal of a TZ transformer. So this is how exactly we have connected the load in series. Now we have to use the voltmeter across P1, P2, P1, P2 of main and TZ transformer. One voltmeter should be connected to P1, P2 of TZ transformer first and then one more voltmeter is right 300 which is having a range of we are using a range from 0 to 300 volt anyhow we are converting from single to three phase single uh, say three phase to two, two, two phases so 0 to 300 range is enough for both the voltmeters for both the voltmeters and even the ammeter ranges okay. are selected as 0 to 10 amperes. 0 to 10 amperes range we will select for both the load side ammeters. This is what the overall connection what we make to have a Scott connected transformer for conversion from 3 phase to 2 2 phases. Let's see how exactly the conduction goes.